Our next adventure is exploring Padre Island marine life. There's so many great creatures in the beach. Welcome, Welcome to, to Sea Family, family fun. fun. We are a busy family of four, deep in the heart of Texas. We are exploring the world with science, technology, engineering, art, and math activities. For a beach trip, check the weather for thunderstorms, water quality, and bring sunscreen. Texas Beach Watch program monitors water quality along the Texas Gulf Coast. It provides up-to-date conditions of Texas beaches, including bacteria levels, to ensure the safety of beachgoers. I recommend going to this like the day before you go down to the beach to find a good suitable location and you can zoom in to your location that you plan to go to and look at the bacteria count, view the details, and you can see the bacteria count and also to the date that it was taken and the latitude and longitude of that location. And you'll notice here that this is in yellow and so this has a medium advisory count so it's got higher bacteria they're testing for is enterococcus, which is a type of fecal bacteria, and uh, elevated levels of this type of bacteria can lead to gastrointestinal illnesses. And zooming into this red one, obviously this is really high, it would not be a location that you want, want to recommend. Zooming out, you can actually look around on the map and try to see if there's any other potential sources for contamination. Let's turn to crustaceans, which are a type of arthropod. They have a crusty or hard exoskeleton, which we're going to find on the beach. There's a crustacean called a barnacle. I like collecting shells at the beach. The ocean covers 70% of our planet and is home to an incredible variety of life from tiny plankton to giant whales. Look at the tiny barnacle. On another trip, we found some shark eye gastropod shells that were filled in with a special visitor. These were hermit crabs. Bye, crabby. We found a crab carapace, which is basically the protective outer shell or exoskeleton. Also a claw, which is a powerful appendage that crabs use to capture prey and also as defense. Let's look at gastropods, which means stomach foot, and most of them have a spiral shell for protection, and here is one of those gastropods. This elongate spiral shaped object is a lightning whelk A casing. So interesting. Next, we're going to look at sand dollars, which are part of the echinoderms or spiny skin, and they have a five fold symmetry. As you see on the top of this sand dollar, it kind of looks like it has petals, and as we zoom in under the microscope, it kind of has like these elongate features or stretch features and that's part of that five-fold symmetry. Another characteristic of our echinoderms is they tend to have plates. You can kind of see that hexagonal structure and when we look at the back side of this um, particular sand dollar you can see that spiky kind of spiny skin um, and that is another characteristic that help you identify an echinoderm. Here we're looking at a side view Let's look at this plant sargassum seaweed. And this is brownish green and it has balls that are filled with gas that keep it help it maintain flotation and, or basically stay on the surface. And I'm just gonna zoom into the different characteristics. We're also gonna look at clams, which are bivalves, which means they have two different sides of their clam shell. Just looking at some microscopic images of one of these clams and it almost had like a metallic look to it. So um, you can see how quickly the wind is spreading across the surface. Clams or bivalves can exhibit growth rings in their shells. And these can be either annual or seasonal rings, very similar to a tree ring. And um, what we can determine from that is we can determine the organism's age, its growth patterns, and what type of environmental conditions it was subjected to in its life. Another distinguishing feature of a bivalve or clam is that the symmetry of the organism is across the hinge of the organism. The Atlantic cockle is an orange and white variation. You can see all these clams clinging to this trash. This looks like an outline of maybe possibly a suitcase. And when we're at the beach, we always spend, dedicate some time to beach cleanup. This is a sawtooth pen shell. It's got a beautiful mother of pearl luster to it. And as you look at this shell and run your finger across it, it's very delicate and thin, but it does have this serrate kind of sawtooth look to it. As I angle the light and kind of zoom in across the surface, you can even tell some of those structures there. And again, it's very thin and delicate. Do not touch jellyfish if they're alive or not, because they can sting you if they're alive or not. 
The By the Wind Sailor is a Nidarian and has this clear sail at the top that helps push it along. There's also the Portuguese Man of War. It's also a Nidarian and it's a colonial animal. Here's a video of this when we went on that beach trip and it has this beautiful blue color to it as well. Um, so it can look like a, a plastic bag floating on the water. There's also moon jellies. These um, have a radial type symmetry. They're transparent. Um, be very careful. Do not step on them. This is one that's upside down. Here's a sea nettle and you can see its tentacles kind of rushing in the current. You would obviously want to stay away. Other critters in this section have nematocysts, which are stinging cells. We also saw a lot of marine birds with waterproof feathers and webbed feet. The wildlife tends to keep a safe distance from us, but one of the activities that we can do while we're observing them is we can actually look at their tracks. Bird watching, journaling, taking photographs, these can all be great activities, like looking at the, the motion of these birds, like these seagulls here, or this possible egret here, looking at the different of their motion, how long their steps are far apart, um, different adaptations you might be able to observe in those, those particular birds. Comment below, why does a shell have a hole in it? What made it? What purpose does it serve? Comment below, what are those intriguing holes scattered along the beach? As we kind of move up and down the beach, you can see these holes everywhere. And just pay really close attention to these holes here and what's going on. What is causing kind of that bubbling? Can you see anything kind of coming out of those holes? And what, what are those structures? What do they look like? Hmm. If you were to dig that out, what would you find? As busy parents, finding quality time can be a real challenge. During an adventure, we dedicate our time to reconnecting and living in the moment. Pop loves going to the beach because she loves the frisbee, she loves the water. So cute and so funny when her little snout comes out of the little frisbee. And Cooking tinfoil dinners in the fire, warming up next to the fire during colder parts of the year. I like the shells, and I like swimming in the sea, and it's so fun to go to the beach. You can make sandcastles and all of those things. Subscribe and hit that notification bell.